Hi everybody, it's me Florian Eisner again. In this tutorial I will show you two techniques to make freeze frames from your video footage. So let's go! First of all I will use the menu option freeze frame, but as you will notice this option is no longer available in the menu bar. Since Media Composer release 8.5 you will find this option in the Composer window called Source. Right click and here it is freeze frame. The default settings are now already set on interpolated field instead of duplicated field. This makes it much easier. And more than this, the selection specify duration. Later more. As an example footage I would like to show you my official company logo animation. I mark a specific part of the animation without the fade out and go to splice in. Now it is in the timeline, go back to the source footage. Well to make a freeze from the last frame of my selection, I mark it, again right click, select the freeze frame option, using interpolated field is already correct for me, but I want a length that I can't find there. That's why I use the specify duration option. I would like to get only 3 seconds of freezing frame. Select the media drive, select the bin. And here we go, it's already loaded in the source monitor. I add it to the timeline again. Finally I got my logo animation without the original fade out, but now with 3 seconds freeze of the last frame of my selection. But for those in a hurry I have a faster second method. Back to the native selection, I disable the audio tracks, I go to the trim mode and I trim the video clip up to my required length. And then I add an edit. I go to the effect palette, with the new cool search mask, I choose the time warp effect. I pull it down in the timeline on my clip with the new edit. And now I go to this effect by using the motion effect editor, not with the effect editor, because this would only open the underlying color adapter. Here it is, the time warp effect. Everything is okay. I only change the speed from 100 to 0%. Close it and that's it. The same result, the logo animation now with 3 seconds of freeze frame instead of a fade out, but with the time warp a much faster solution. It's your decision which technique you prefer. I hope you enjoyed it, see you next time.